What's up, everybody? It's Big John. We're back with part two on how not to pop staples when you're flattening a book that has a really bad spine roll. It is 4.30, either late afternoon or early evening, the way the sun goes down, probably early dark. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and pop this, and then we're going to take a look and see if what I do resulted in what I've done for, I don't know, probably thousands of books. I, I don't even remember how many I've done this way, but we're going to see if my way popped the staples. Okay, so this is live. I'm, I'm doing this. Yes, it's on a video. I have not opened the press. We're going to find out if my way popped the staples and the way that I always have done it. With no moisture whatsoever. So we want to try to hold down this top in case we get any stick, which we normally don't, but you always want to be safe. So you're just going to remove everything. And we're going to pull the book here. Keep it on camera. So we're going to see, are the staples intact? There's the top one. And there is the bottom one. Nothing has been popped. Okay. So now we're going to set this book up to be the way it should be. And yes, there is a little bit more of a bend there, but that's fine. We're going to, we're going to take care of that when we press it. Now, the key to pressing a book. Now, Listen, if you want to go an extra step, we can repress this again in its flattened state on this side now. And you would just want to do the same steps that I did before. Loosen your clamp for your pressure. Reset everything. Set your temperature. Lower it back down and then, and then turn until it's not over tight, just tight. And then you might be able to get this little bit out. But... I've always felt that you don't really need to do that because when you press the book and you leave it, you're going to retrain the paper fiber anyway. Okay? Honestly, this is not that big of a deal. It's really not. People have made it a big deal by overthinking it or trying to come up with something new. Listen. Don't come up with something new because my way, the old way, still works today. So there's no sense in changing a system that's always worked. This, to me, is the most important step when you're setting up a book. I'm going to try to bring this closer. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see, but... I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can with what I have, okay? So what you want to do now is where the staples are on the book, right? You want to go shiny side up. And I want to put this board in f just in front of the staples. Just in front. which can be a pain, I'm not going to lie, and now I'm going to hold it firm, and I'm going to fold the book, and I'm going to move my fingers up slowly, And now I'm going to fold the book. And as you can see, I'm not adding any pressure yet. I want to check and see where the staples are. This one's a little behind. So we have, you see, he's got more white here than here. So we're just going to simply open the book back up. 
and you can see we slipped off a little bit. This is not the easiest part of this, but we want to try to get it as perfect as we can. I'm going to hold it again firm. And now we got good white from top to bottom. And now I'm going to gently add pressure up and down the spine. Now, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to turn this just like this. No moisture added. And I'm going to keep pushing down to try to get that board to set. You can see that even when we pressed it flat, that book still wants to be a pain in the rump. So now we're going to grab our non-stick sheet. We're going to put it on top of the book. Remember, we have added no moisture. Now we're going to add another board. Shiny side down. Shiny sides have no, in, you know, any imperfections really. Now I'm going to push it all the way to the back and I'm going to pull it forward on this book. Then I'm going to let it go. I'm going to take another non-stick sheet. Place it over top of the board. Then I'm going to grab my plate, set it flat, less non-stick sheet, place it. Now, we're going to loosen this. We're going to check the pressure. That's a little firm. I'm going to back it off. That's about perfect. You don't want it overly done. Now we're going to lift it. I should have did this before, but I made a mistake. I forgot to start my heat. There's enough weight on that to keep it that way, right? So, yes, I made a mistake. I forgot to turn the heat on. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. So, now we're going to let it build. We've already set our weight. Now, we're going to press this and leave it in here again. Today is, I believe, Tuesday, 4.30 when we started, when we took it out, re -bent it. We're going to leave this in till Thursday. So we're going to let the heat press it. And then we're going to come back Thursday about this time. We're going to take it out. We're going to look at it at that point and make sure that what we did set properly. And then once we do that and it's done, then we can go ahead and clean it. Then we can add our humidity to it then we can press it okay you guys have already seen all of that stuff so I don't I won't need to show that um, I will however when I do the last video I will show you the finished book the spine roll on this book to let you know was a half inch when you turned the book over and looked at the back there was a half inch of 
pages showing. That's how bad the spine roll was on this book. Okay? So, again, this is going to be the final step for removing the spine roll without popping the staples. Again, no humidity was used at all to press it flat and now to get the fold. Now, after Thursday, when we pull it out, if it needs cleaned and cleaned, whatever, we're going to do that. We're going to add the humidity. We're going to press it. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to put it on my stainless steel table, excuse me, for seven days. I'm not going to touch it. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more pressure. And that's about all I want right there. We're going to let it go. We're going to let it do its thing. I'm going to leave it in my cold press for seven days. I am not going to touch it. Right? So I'm going to take my acrylic sheet and a 10 pound weight. And I'm going to put it on the comic. And I'm not going to touch it for seven days. Now, the question is, why do I want to leave it on there for seven days? Believe it or not, I might leave it on for 10 days. The whole idea of this is that we have and we are going to retrain the paper fibers, paper fibers to be good little soldiers and stay in their proper formation. That's as simple of an explanation as I can make it. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you guys stop popping staples. This is Big John, and for the Comic Book Underground, I'm out.